Welcome to Omar Brown in seven plays. If you're not familiar with what I do in this series, I like to take a look at an NFL draft prospect and break them down in just a limited amount of plays. So uh, Omar Brown is a prospect uh, for the 2024 NFL draft, a safety from Nebraska, uh, former cornerback at Northern Iowa, transfers to Nebraska, and when, when the Huskers moved to the 3-3-5 defense, he became a starting safety and one of their top defenders uh, this past season. So if your team just drafted him, you're a Husker fan, um, and you're wanting to get to know Omar Brown a little bit better and how he translates to the NFL, this is the best place to do it and showcasing him in just, like I said, seven plays. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the tape. In today's NFL, with the passing attacks that are going on, NFL safeties are asked to pretty much do three things. They're asked to play man-to-man coverage out of the slot. They're asked to play uh, deep safety. And they're asked to be force players in the run game. And so when I take a look at Omar Brown, those are the three categories that I want to highlight. Uh, So let's talk about his ability to play in the slot. So here, Omar Brown is lined up in the slot against Minnesota um, right here. And what I like about Omar Brown is, although he may not be the most like athletic safety out there, he plays with good, you know, enough speed and quickness. But he has good anticipation. He sees this uh, Minnesota receiver pushing up to the end zone and start to break inside. So he's able to not only break to go there, but he's seeing that he's also, you know, stopping to go back outside, and he's able to adjust, stop and be in a position to cover him up um, in case the ball is thrown there. And, and it's not only his his athletic ability, but just the mental side of this to see and, and anticipate that receiver making the move. We see that uh, another example of that here against Purdue. Um, Omar Brown is right here. He what? He tends to line up in Nebraska's 3-3-5 as the, one of their three safeties. Um, in he usually plays the field side, so it's in essence he's their nickel corner, um, often on the wide side of the field, playing in man to man. So I just showed you against Minnesota the ability to kind of in that short area uh, react with the receiver. Here against Purdue, it's going to be more on a deep route. And what I like is he's able to see this route. I don't know if he understands the uh, the route combination, the film study. But he is making this break pretty much the same time as the receiver. And he's able to go out and then stop with him as he as he looks to sit down along the sideline. But it's just this ability to react and see and, and in essence anticipate the route. And like I said, Omar Brown doesn't have elite speed. He's not super explosive, but he's got enough speed. He's got enough quickness. And he makes up for some of those, those physical traits with his anticipation, and with his ability to read the receiver's routes. All right, and the final clip that I wanted to talk about with his man-to-man coverage skills um, is here against Maryland, and he's going to be lining up right here, playing a little off coverage. And this just showcases, you know, he's able to not only uh, break out and then back, so it kind of goes with what we talked about with his ability to anticipate and, and stick with receivers and man-to-man coverage, but then his ability to break it up. You know, the quarterback sees this, sees him maybe look like he slipped a little bit right there, but then he's able to use his length to his advantage and get his hand in there and break up the pass. And, and Omar Brown has shown this over the course of this season. Um, he had several, you know, at least three or four pass breakups where he was able to just get his hands in there, use that length, and, and disrupt the catch point and and force an incompletion and so we see that his ability not only to play in man coverage but when he put himself in a position to break up the pass and then end up breaking up the pass all right so we just looked at how omar brown's abil- his ability to play man to man in the slot uh, we saw that against purdue minnesota and maryland uh Let's take a look now at his ability to play deep, single high, play back in coverage. 
and because of the nature of Nebraska's defense and them having him kind of be their nickel corner, he didn't play a ton in deep coverage. He did at times, but he didn't have a lot of balls thrown in his vicinity. Um, so we kind of have to go a couple other places to look. And here is some footage from one of the, the Shrine game practices, and, and Omar Brown was, uh, was a participant there. He's just lined up here on the left-hand side. And this just shows, once again, his just ability to play in the back end of coverage, um, getting some depth, following the quarterback's eyes, and then he sees the ball in the air and is able to track it and go up and make the catch. And so it is limited sample size, but we do see in a position where they do put him there to, to see how he can play single high, deep safety. He shows that he can get depth. He shows that he can move and react to the quarterback and then go get the ball. Now, sticking with um, this ability to play back in coverage, I'm cheating a little bit here because on this play, um, Omar Brown is lined up over here on the left-hand side. He is uh, playing man-to-man -man coverage. But what I see in this clip shows me some of that ability that he could showcase at playing in deep coverage. Uh, so on this play, they're going to run a little play action. And he's going to, I know it gets cut off a little bit, but his receiver right up here at the top is breaking out. And they're going to try and hit this, this deep out uh, type route to him. And Omar Brown is able to trail and break in front of it to make the catch. And what I like about this and the, the reason why I included this into him being able to play over the top is you can just kind of see that ability to accelerate and sprint to the ball to make that catch. So yes, he was playing in man, but essentially, if he was playing back, you know, as a too high safety here and the receiver is cutting out, you know, we can see that ranging over from the, from the hashes out to the sideline to cut in front of that receiver and make the catch. So, you know, when a player doesn't, dem doesn't show us on tape, doesn't have that ability, like where they're playing back deep, you got to look for little things like this to see like, hey, could he break on the ball? from playing back and we see it here now the third thing is can he be a force player in the run game can he affect and help stop the run and this play i like a lot because it just showcases omar brown's physicality so against purdue they're going to run a quick wide receiver screen uh, down here at the bottom to number zero and this tight end right here is going to come and try and block omar brown and we just see with the physicality that Omar Brown, first off, we see a lot of the mental stuff. You know, he's got, he understands the game. He sees stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if he's watching a ton of film and just recognizes stuff that he's seen on tape. But he sees this happening quickly, and he's able to just blow th by, you know, through this block attempt by the tight end, use his power, and just come and make this tackle you know, with the tight end kind of draped on his back. And it just shows his tenacity. It shows his willingness to be involved and go make tackles, even though this is still a pass. And, and just that physicality to, to get off of a block to make this play. And then this final play, uh, they're gonna the ball's going to go back out to the outside. Once again, it's still a pass. I get it. Um, but Omar Brown's back here off screen at the bottom of the screen. And they're going to throw this little quick route. And he's just going to be able to come up, lower his shoulder, and make this tackle. And Omar Brown was a good tackler. He's not afraid to fly up, put his shoulder in. And then he just doesn't hit. He is does wrap up. He does make several tackles in space. And, and these two clips just show you that, hey, he can be a player in the run game as well. He can make tackles and come up. And, and I didn't show you a, a, him coming up and filling in the hole because, once again, there wasn't a lot of this. But these two plays that I just showed you shows that he can kind of come up and stick his nose in the run game, put a hat on the, uh, the, the ball carrier, and take him to the ground. There is a lot to like about Omar Brown as an NFL draft prospect. As I said, um, NFL safeties have got to be able to 
uh, be a play, uh, force player in the run game, play man to man in the slot, whether against, whether it's against wide receivers or tight ends, and then be able to play uh, deep zones uh, safety as well. And usually, if you have t- if you're good at two of those, you're going to be considered an NFL starter. Now, I just highlighted that that Brown can do all three, and while I think he can do all three. This is where we have some of the limitations. He can do all three, but is he good at any of them? I mean, I think he's solid at at all of them, and I think he can play in the man. He can play man-to-man coverage, but he tended to get beat at times against quicker receivers. He could play back deep, but once again, he doesn't have that elite range to play single high. He's more of a too high safety, uh, or 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 playing underneath as like a true strong safety. And in the run game, he's solid, but I wouldn't say he's coming up and, like I said, filling holes. And so I think because he can do it all, but he's not great at at any of the three, I think that makes him more of a backup in the eyes of the NFL. Uh, um, You know, the NFL already kind of has devalues safety a bit. It's kind of like running back where you have to be really elite to go early in the NFL draft if you're a safety. The same thing for running back. And so I think we tend to get running backs or safeties pushed down the draft board. And, and this isn't a great safety class. And so I think safeties are going to kind of get pushed down. And that's, you know, that doesn't help Omar Brown. So I don't think he's going to get drafted. I could be surprised. I think he's the best out of all, all of the Nebraska prospects for the 2024 NFL draft. So it wouldn't surprise me if he was drafted. I just think because he's viewed as a backup, because he doesn't have any elite traits, teams are going to see him as a backup, and he's going to end up going undrafted. But that doesn't mean that he's not going to play in the NFL. I actually think he's going to be a key contributor. I think he's going to be a guy that comes in as a backup and plays multiple positions. So many of these, so many of these NFL teams and these defenses now are going to big nickel, which means they play three safeties. And so Omar Brown's ability to play kind of in that slot and having that experience both at cornerback and safety is going to be vital to him. And I think he's going to latch onto a team in training camp. I think he's going to play well. Maybe he gets put on a practice squad initially, but I see him sticking around. I mean, Joshua Kalu several years ago, six, seven, eight years ago, was, was playing for Nebraska. Uh, goes the NFL draft, doesn't get drafted, but then sticks around with the Tennessee Titans for three years and then goes to Washington and then back to Tennessee and then to the New York Giants and ends up playing six years in the NFL as a backup cornerback slash safety. And I think Omar Brown has that ability to do the same thing. Um, I think he's a guy that can play on special teams. And I think, uh, I think he's going to find his way and have a nice solid NFL career and and have a lot to be very proud of. So uh, that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode of Omar Brown and Seven Plays. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel to get more. Uh, I've got plenty of other videos like this out there, including some full breakdowns. Uh, while you're out there, follow me on social media too, draft underscore Brian. Uh, wherever you have social media, I am there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time.